Okay, time to do the double. I'm gonna try. I got the fish kind of angled. Maybe I'll angle it some more. I got it all covered up already. Um, we'll see. Don't know where to drop this paper. Very difficult, actually. Oh, I want to get the head in there. Might not be to fit both fishes. Not quite sure what to do here. Another fish here. Just gonna cover. Angle a little. I cut off the edge, but it's okay. I'm going for it. Make sure the uh, stencil is tight. Gotta commit. I did moisten the paper a little. Hopefully that helps. It's a little bit more flexible. Um, I can feel a bit where the fish is overlapping. It's good, it's what I want. It's just going to overlap a little, I think. already. I think four prints is a lot already. Uh, it's even a light print. Let's try the hands. lighter than the first one. Hope that's gonna look alright.
So, side pin, side pin. They didn't do the bottom. Let's see if I can put the bottom pin. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay. Yeah, a little bit light on the head, but I'll show you. But mind, you can see the kumus in there. See, so wherever the fish overlap, which is really just here, the edge of the fin, and on this fin, you got the other meal coming in, and. See if I can release this without taking off the ink. Oh, and it's taking off some ink. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spritz the back of this teeth. Water bottle. Hopefully it doesn't affect the other print. <laughs> Only experimenting, you know, so. So, there you go. That's your double Milu print. Hope you find that cool. I'm going to stop it before it gets to 10 minutes.